All right, you guys, you probably can't hear me that well because the wind is blowing. So I'm not going to talk that much. I'm about to do a quick hill workout. I'm gonna to attempt to do four of these, okay? From the bottom down there, you're gonna see me like right there by that rock, and then I'm gonna come all the way up like this, and then I'm gonna finish right up here. <laughs> This is number two. This is number two. This is number two. Motivation for you. Let's do this, you guys. I'm gonna be. I'm about to start rapping. Let's do this. Number two. Uh, let's run up the hill, you got. I'm not a rapper, but. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not a rapper, you guys, but uh, the beat was good. So I'm about to finish this workout, you got number two, you get through the workout, push, 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 drive up the hill. I was tired, but I had to keep on going through it. This is number three. I have one more after this one. Number three is the hardest one because in my brain, my brain is like, you have one more after this one. You should just chill a little bit. Just come on, just take a little break. Come on, dude. Your legs are tired. Save it for the next one. But you shouldn't do that. And that's what makes this the hardest one because your brain is telling you to save something. But if you want to be good, you have to keep going. You can't save nothing. You have to keep pushing. You got to drive up the hill. You got to lift your knees. You got to take a step, one step at a time. You can't baby it. Because if you baby in it, if you saving it, then how are you going to get better? You know what I mean? So you got to keep driving up the hill. One foot in front of the other. Ten toes down out here. All right? Take it to the top, take it to the top, take it to the top. Drive, drive, keep your eyes open. Go, I'm making it, I'm making it, I'm tired, you guys made it. You know how Mondays are. So I'm gonna do one more and we're gonna wrap it up. All right, you guys, this is the last one. I'm about to just give it my all. I really shouldn't even be running over here because this is the Porter Ranch area and over there in those freaking hills is a massive gas leak. This is crazy. So I, I'm gonna just finish this up before I get some type of disease from breathing in that unnatural gas. Last one. I'm ready for this one. I didn't even want to do this one, you guys. I was tired. I'm not gonna lie to you. I could barely get up on number three. My hamstrings and my quads they was tired they were shot like going up that hill is no joke you guys doing hill workouts it's like doing squats my legs they felt like i did squats like three sets of 10 or some like i don't even know two plates but yeah y'all i'm gonna wrap up this video i'm gonna tell you guys about the situation at hand hit the like button subscribe yeah I'm 360 Wave Process Rashad, and yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in my next running video, but keep on watching. Woo! That's the last one. I finished. I'm gonna catch my breath. I'm gonna talk to y'all about the whole situation.
finish off that cliffhanger. See, the situation at hand is that my coach was the cross country coach on the team, the assistant coach. And so from my point of view, his focus was on the distance runners. Two days out of the four days in a week that we had mandatory practice, we would um, do long runs, 35 minute runs, okay? What happened was I asked the coach, I was like, coach, is it all right after a regular practice? Cause you know, two days out of the week, we have a regular practice. So I asked the coach, is it all right if I get my long run in on my own tomorrow? And that's when he went off on me, yelling, talking about some, uh, if, you, if you don't want to be on this team, then you don't have to, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And um, bye, go, just go. You're already on my shit list, blah, blah. Some, those words came, you're already on my shit list, blah, 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 blah. Why didn't you come to practice on Monday? You didn't even tell me. But Monday was uh, Martin Luther King Jr. It was a, a, a na federal holiday, national holiday, okay? On Christmas Day, people weren't talking about some white to come to practice, you know what I mean? So anyways, that's what happened. And so he told me, bye, go. If you don't want to be on the team anymore, bye, go. Um, just get out of here, go, get out of here. Just like that, like, like you, you shoo away a dog, like get on, get, go. And I just left, you know. Like, I'm not about to sit there and beg to be on the team or anything, you know what I mean? So I just walked away. So I'm just gonna run for myself. I'm gonna run on my own and that's what's gonna happen. And it's not like I wanted to quit the team and I was disappointed. I'm not gonna sit here and say I wasn't disappointed because I was practicing and my goal was to finish my last year off at the school running, you know, my last year running for a school track and field eligibility for college. It was just disrespectful to me and I felt like what kind of coach would even do that to someone who's as dedicated as I am, you know what I mean? And my senior season of track, my last season of track told me to go, like just get out of here. But yeah, I didn't want to work with somebody like that. So I just, when he told me to leave and, and just get off the track and I just was like, say no more. like. There is no, nothing else you can say to me. Like, you just told me to get out of here. You're like, what kind of coach are you? Obviously, you don't care about me if you could just tell me after all this work in the off season to just get out of here. When I come to practice, when I come to practice to work and I even practice on my own, you know what I mean? So it's just like that to me. So that's what happened.